All right, boys. This is it. This is what we've been waiting for. Let's get the live reaction. I haven't seen these yet. So new rest, no rest for the wicked. Shield has detected a great power source coming from an aim lab in the Utah Badlands. Blah, blah, blah. Okay. Hero updates. Here it is. 2.6 will be making the first the first changes and tweaks to heroes as part of an ongoing process we announced in our August development update. To make sure that every character continues to feel like the superhero they are, this update adjusts heroic abilities. Okay, so they are focusing just on heroics. We knew that they were going to be focusing, we knew that heroics were like the first priority, but we didn't get an outright confirmation that that was all that was coming. Every hero is included. So yeah, every hero receiving at least one buff to heroics. They did say two recently but that's okay in future updates we'll be making changes to other parts of your design not just balance out but every aspect so traversal is basically what they're saying okay. global changes firstly to better balance combat we've reviewed our enemies attacks and heroes hit to reactions damage we want to alleviate problems of systemic combat situations where the player can be overwhelmed and spammed with too much damage at once for multiple enemies so we've incorporated armor on the player that will completely protect players from damage within that fraction of a second. Not only granting players a fair amount of time to escape any follow-up attacks, but also granting priority back to the initial enemy attacker who won't have their own attacks interrupted by collateral damage. Wait, hold on. So you can't get juggled is basically, but also granting priority back to the initial enemy attacker who won't have their own attacks interrupted. I don't, I don't get that second part. Does that mean we can't juggle them back? The armor only lasts on the player until they're able to abandon the reaction through dodging, evading, or jumping. Okay. So if you take a big hit, you can't take two big hits in a row. That's huge. That's going to be huge for defense. That's going to be huge for not needing as much defense. Um, another global change we're adding, we've made applying to all heroes, that when players activate heroics, all pushback damage done now applies stun damage and scales with heroic and heroic and melee damage instead of just heroic wow there's your melee buff boys wow that's you call that a, that's so silly so so when you activate a heroic you so you know how when you, you guys know when you activate a heroic all the enemies get kind of pushed back away from you as part of the activation it's hard to see sometimes but it's always happened so that's going to now be stun damage and it's going to stay, scale not only with Valor, but also your melee. So you're going to have an incentive to use melee. Ah. Ah. I mean, it's stun damage, so it's already not great. We know that stun damage is extremely niche. People, No one's doing like a stun build. It's better than nothing. It's better than doing what it did before, which was nothing. But it's not going to be serious for bosses or anything like that. All right, here are changes. Iron Man. Unibeam. Damage from Unibeam will no longer be reduced when attacking targets that are beyond mid-range. Okay, so it's got unlimited range. I never even knew it. That must be a real long range because I've never even noticed it. Increase Unibeam specialization reserve capacitors by 2.6 times. 2.65 times. The reserve capacitors is the, uh, that's the, the triple, right? When you get three of them. Wow. Omega Beam. Okay, so because no one uses the reverse capacitors, reserve capacitors, or the Omega Beam, Omega Beam basically doubled. Stun damage fucking quintupled almost. Wow. Wow. And then the reserve capacitors, I probably still won't use them. I'll keep it a buck, but it, I'll probably use the Omega Beam. Nah, shit, I'll probably use all three. Because this one you can stack, right? If you hit the same enemy multiple times, it, it doubles up and triples up, right? Oh, man, that's going to be something. Damn, well, we'll have to see. But definitely the Omega Beam. All right, Arc Overload. Damage done with Arc Overload along with Valor also scales. My okay, so that's what they were saying. So that makes sense because when you do the Arc Overload, you stun everything in the area and it knocks them back. Going to scale with Might too. Whatever, uh, whatever, Whatever five Might I have on my Iron Man, it'll scale that. So that's fine. Okay, Hulkbuster. Here we go. Software updates to Hulkbuster, Hulkbuster's operating system have been intermittently deployed with the past updates to bring Iron Man's skill and gear functionally proportionate to other heroes. Hulkbuster 2.0 will now utilize any hero skills, gear perks, and other status effects equipped on Iron Man will retain these abilities even when another pilot operates Hulkbuster. 
Increased Hulkbuster's Magnum Missile Attack Stun Damage by 135%. No one really used that for the stun. Damage from Hulkbuster's Unibeam will no longer be reduced beyond mid-range. Okay, so that's fine. Hulkbuster itself was had already been buffed to, to, to keep abilities. You can get targeted buff on it now. It applies the elements. So that's all been... Those changes were pretty much all it needed anyway. So that's basically what they're saying. They they increased the Magno Missile again. Good good Iron Man updates. I like it. Let's look at Hulk. All right. Hulk's Rage Intrinsic now deals Gamma. Okay. So kind of similar to Thor dealing Shock. You can just deal Gamma straight up. I like that. Hopefully they didn't nerf the Sonic and Plasma glitch so you can now throw on a third element there. Willpower recovered through rage when struck an enemy has been increased to properly scale with enemy's power beyond level 1. Okay, so we're going to gain more. Increase the duration of rage's overcharge from 3 seconds to 10. Okay. Uh, increased recovery generated through rage will also generate while rage is overcharged. Okay, that's good because the difference between the overcharge rage and the hold down R2 rage were different. But now they're the same. So that's good. All right. Strangle hold. Uh, crawlers are now susceptible to the takedown. Okay. Sure. Takedown damage initiative of the strangle hold now, along with might, now additionally scales with valor. Can I, can I just say... Oh, takedown damage. I'm sorry. I was going to say, it's funny how Hulk was already doing might and now it gets valor on his heroics. But that's the takedown. So we all knew. So take when you do a takedown, it scales with your might. We knew that. Um, but now the takedown, when you do it through the stranglehold, will scale with might and valor. So people, everyone builds their Hulk might valor. So you're going to be slapping adaptoids, uh, dreadbots, exos. They're all going down. Oh, and increase stranglehold attack damage. Okay, so it's going to do double the damage. Uh, extra stun damage. That's fine. And don't forget, when you stranglehold, it hits, even if you do a takedown version, it hits an AoE that actually hits the enemies as well. So that's pretty straight. Increase the duration of the irradiated uh, destruction. So that's the that's the pool afterwards by two seconds. That's fine. Stun damage by 400%. Very nice. Increase the status damage by 1900%. Holy! Ho Whizla June! Holy! That's pretty insane. So that's the status damage. So when you're when they're taking the gamma damage, usually it's not a lot, right? When you're taking gamma, gamma, it doesn't tick a lot of damage. They're 20 timesing or 19 timesing that damage. That's gonna be a sizable amount of damage. That's pretty wild. Stranglehold special, stranglehold specialization, irradiated destruction now activates the radial hazard when attacking exos, adaptoids, or crawlers. Okay, all right. Bone shaker, damage done by bone shaker now scales with might. That's usual. Attack damage by a hundred. Okay, I mean bone shaker never really did damage, right? It was more of just a taunt. Stun damage by two hundred, right? So tripling the stun damage. That's good. All right, here we go. Thunderclap. Damage done by Thunderclap along with Valor now scales... Now additionally scales with Might? Oh my god, they're gonna be... You're gonna be destroying people with Thunderclap. Wow. That's incredible. Increased damage by 85%. Stun damage of the ground zero. That's the... That's the... Uh, plat, the gamma ground effect. Stun damage increased by 40 and then status damage by 100. So double the status damage. That's fantastic. Hulk is back, baby. Hulk is going to be clapping people. Absolutely clapping people. The Stranglehold is going to be destroying things. And the Thunderclap is going to be destroying things. Thunderclap is going to absolutely melt everything now. If it scales with Valor and Might and almost doubles its damage on top of that, it's going to be back to OG Thunderclap. Probably even better. If I'm being honest, allegedly they only nerfed it 25%. Damn, that's crazy. That is going to be extremely, extremely legit. I'm excited to see some big time, big time uh, Hulk plays. I'm definitely going to get my Hulk up, but holy. All right, Thor Odinson. Boy, let's see how they fix this one. This is a character who desperately needed a buff. 
Increase the duration of Odin Force Overcharge from 3 seconds to 10. All right. God Blast. Damage done by God Blast now additionally scales with precision? <laughs> oh, my God. Increase God Blast attack damage by 50 and and shock damage by 200 and the Thunderstorm specialization by 200. You're going to kill bosses with God Blast now. You're going to be a literally destroyed. You can probably take out Taskmaster with a single God Blast now. Wow, that's wild. That is wild. Warrior's Fury. Damage done with Warrior's Fury attack along with Valor now scales with Might instead of Precision. Damage done with Warrior's Fury lightning strikes along with Valor now additionally scale with Precision. Okay. So, uh, so it's a little confusing. So this is talking about the uh the actual attack and this is the lightning strikes that come down attack damage by two that's fine i mean warrior's fairy never did a lot of damage but it'll just tack on a little more now all right by frost by frost now additionally scales with might okay so if you're playing a might thor like a like a melee thor with might and valor uh your by frost is going to be looking good uh hazard damage done by by frost special now scales with valor Ooh, okay so the so that's going to be the burn that comes down afterwards. The amount of burn we're talking is going to scale with your valor. Hazard damage by two hundred percent essentially. By for a stun damage. So anything you don't kill is going to be stunned. Um, didn't it looks like they didn't really damage? They didn't really up the damage other than the fact that it now scales with might. So here's the thing about a lot of these, and I'll just I'll just call this out is that even if you're not building for might, right, you're still going to have significant damage added right you don't have to have a lot of might to get a boost right even if you have like let's say you have a piece that just threw on might and you didn't you were like ah it's not perfect but i'm using it like you're gonna notice a difference right because it's gonna scale with that extra might so that's pretty sweet all right black widow this is what i'm excited about this is one of the ones i'm excited about because i feel like the ones we've talked well hulk was hulk was definitely needed iron man and thor were not they didn't need buffs but they got them Increased duration of Shadow Ops overcharge from 3 seconds to 10. That's good, because that Shadow Ops thing just went away way too fast. Uh, so 10 seconds there is great. All right, Widow's Bite. Damage by 70, that's fine. Uh, so that's flat. Specialization by an additional 70 for the Taser Dart. That's the one I think most people use. Uh, stun damage by 30. Taser Dart shock damage by 25. You're going to be melting with the Taser Dart, for sure. Lightning Fist, so that's the punch by 80. The punch is good. Okay, so just pretty much flat buffs across the board there. Can't argue with that. Veil of Shadow. Damage done by Veil of Shadows. Okay, that's the same verbiage line that they've been saying in regards to activating abilities, so that's fine. Veil of Shadows attack damage by 60%. I don't understand what that means. Veil of Shadows doesn't do damage, really. It's It'll it'll stun things in the area, but it's not. It's That's your invisible, so I'm not really sure what that means. Uh, corrected Veil of Shadows description... From 20% to 420% increased damage. Okay. We'll have to look at that because that's... The Dark Thorn was one that I never really used because I think it said 20. If it's actually 420, that's pretty insane. All right. Power Surge. Power Surge attack damage by 400%. What the... What are these numbers, man? All right. So there's your Melee Widow right there. I'll be building Melee Widow... Power Surge Pole. It'll be doing five times what it does now. And I'll give you a hint. It's pretty good now. That's insane. Stun damage by 100. Sure. You're not going to need it. You're not going to need it. Because everything's going to be dead before it can be stunned. That's wild. All right. Here's Black Panther. King's Mercy. Increased King's Mercy attack damage by 450%. Okay. That's pretty insane. Stun damage by 100, sure. Increased stun damage from medium to high, okay. Uh, increased Mercy Specialization, ABC. Attack damage by 630. They went crazy on Black Panther. Holy, I mean, he needed it, let's be honest. But wow, that's insane. Uh, Kamoyo Beads, attack damage by 30. Okay, not much. I, I usually use those for stun, although you can do damage with them. Uh, Stinger attack damage by 11. Att blast attack damage by 60. Okay, so not a big change to Kamoyo Beads, but they're up. All right, Best Chosen. 
Damage done by Bast Chosen's attack along with Valet. Yep, yep, we knew that. Attack damage by 100, so doubled. Damage done by the Adored Ones now scales with Might and Valor. That's pretty good. That's pretty good. So those are those are the uh, the summons that you get. Uh, increased Bast Chosen Adored Ones Vibranium attack damage by 900%. So they're going to do 900. I assume that's status damage, right? So they're going to just apply Vibranium across the board. That's pretty insane. Pretty insane. Great, great on... Definitely for Black Panther, the King's Mercy uh, through the moon more than anything. That's incredible. Uh, really, really cool there. And then, yeah, I mean, the Bass Chosen, solid, 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 solid. Really good, really good for him. All right, this is it. Oh, get out of here. This is it, guys. The Captain America. This is what I am praying for. This has to be good, man. Steamroller attack damage by 240%. Okay, I mean, I guess. I mean, I can't argue with that. Maybe it could have been more. I don't think his steamroller is very good regardless. Even it could have did 500% more and it probably still wouldn't have quite been there. But 240 is okay. I mean, if you're using it on lower level enemies uh, or, you know, weaker enemies, it does generate orbs. So I guess I'm not super, super mad about that. Increased Rally Cry attack damage by 60%. I don't know, again, what that means because Rally Cry doesn't do damage. Unless it's the, like, initial hit. Scales with Valor along... Okay, so that's just the same thing that it did. Increased stun damage from low to medium. Okay. Brooklyn Brawler. Increased Brooklyn Brawler attack damage by 400% on the Brooklyn Brawler. Ooh, along with Valor, now scales with Might. Oh, baby. And stun damage went from low to high... Wow, so you're gonna... You're gonna fucking run a train over people with Brooklyn Brawler. I'm, you know, I gotta say, like, overall, I'll give my final thoughts at the end here, but there, these numbers are high. These are high numbers. I'm curious to see if people are going to do a little before and after to see if they actually are 400%, right? Because you're going to melt everything. Super Adaptoid, Claw, they're all going to go down instantly with almost no effort. So are they going to, like, scale up the difficulty of the game? I don't understand. I mean, great, great for Cap. Great for Cap. This plus scaling with might, um, absolutely insane. That's gonna that's gonna put him way way up there in terms of damage. Um, the Brooklyn Brawler, as usual. Anyone who was building range Captain America, you fucked up. Brooklyn Brawler was always the way. So that's cool. All right, Hawkeye. Let's see. Damage on recovery arrow now scales with precision. Okay, that's fine. That's just the uh, the initial kick. That's it. That's all they... <laughs> Fucking Hawkeye OP. Hawkeye's OP, man. They can't do... It. They can't stop him. He's too good. There's nothing they can add to him that would be any better. All right. So Hawkeye stays as is. Is that like their, their, their nod to just realize that Hawkeye is the best character? Clearly, he's the best character if everyone is getting buffs but him. That's so insane to me. Oh, that's funny. All right. Kate Bishop. She desperately needed specifically heroic buffs. Warp Arrow. Damage done by Warp Arrow's Quantum Explosion along with Valor now additionally scales with Might. Damage done by the Warp Arrow itself continues to scale with Valor and range as designed. Okay, so the literal arrow scales with Might, but the explosion, when you actually do it, scales with... Uh, oh, sorry. The arrow does scales with Valor and ranged. The other one starts scales with Might now, too. Okay. Damage by 80%. Fine. I probably not going to... People st probably still not going to use it. Uh, stun damage, okay. Damage done by Warp Arrow's special Singularity, along with Valor, now scales with Precision. Singularity damage by 80%. Ooh, and Singularity stun damage by 300%. That's really good. So, when you do the... The Singularity is like the black hole that Kate Bishop does. Good, high stun damage. That's good. Attack damage, no one really uses it for the damage, so that's fine. Decoy. Decoy attack damage by 150. Not enough, I don't think. Uh, probability matrix attack damage by 150. Eh. Damage done by after image along with value now scales by might. Aaron now breaks block on the enemy guard. Okay, that's not bad. Damage done by self destruct now scales with ranged. Self destruct damage by 8%. Okay. They're out here throwing around fucking 1900% for some heroes, and then Kate Bishop gets 8% self destruct damage. All right. 
Here we go, Quantum Overdrive. Damage done by Quantum Overdrive along with Valor now additionally scales with Might. Interesting. Interesting. So so Melee Kate, uh, I guess if you're using the Blade, that could be good. Attack damage by 565%. That's high. That's a lot. That is a lot of damage. That could be good, and that could be good both for the ranged Quantum Overdrive and if you're doing the, the swords that shoot the beams. That could be a sweet way to play her, for sure. I like it. I'm about it. Overall, maybe Kate probably could have did more with the decoy, but that's fine. All right, Mighty Thor, who is already the best character. God Blast. Damage up by God Blast. Valor now scales with precision. Okay, great. Increased, increased XYZ. <laughs> They're so, they didn't even, they kept a placeholder. She's such a copycat character that they still have a placeholder. For, for her attacks. Come on. Okay. Sure. Attack damage by 50%. Okay. Along with along with also scaling from precision. That's fine. Shock damage by 200. Sure. Thunderstorm damage by 200. Yeah. That's pretty much copy store. That's good. Uh, lightning strikes. I think this was all pretty much what Thor was for the Warriors Fury 2. I could be wrong, but I'll go back. But fine. Just straight, straight damage. Okay. All weapon, increase the all weapon's fury, attack damage by 135. Good. That's good. I like that. I love the all weapon. I love the damage it does. I'm a fan. I like that. I like a damage buff there. That's great. Ms. Marvel. Oh, baby. Ms. Marvel's high five damage up by 240%. Stun damage by 400 Up high damage by 240 Now, I'm assuming this is a flat. This is a flat buff, and I'm assuming this for all heroes, that this is a flat buff, and then if you have this specialization, it's an additional amount here for that specialization. So that's interesting. The rest of that, stun damage, too slow. I don't remember which one is which, but I use the... I don't even know which one I use, I'll be honest with you. That's all they did for Ms. Marvel? I guess she didn't really need anything else. Uh, if, if we're talking specifically heroics, I mean... The only thing I said in my other video was I would like to see more stagger resistance while she's embiggened, but clearly they weren't thinking that far. This was mostly... It looks like everything here is pretty much just numbers buffs, right? Which is what it is. All right, Spider-Man. Web Bomb. Increased Web Bomb's damage by 725%. It's These numbers are out of control. Seven. Who buffs a skill by 7%? 725%. Like, it's not like it didn't do any damage, and now it's going to do seven times that damage? Come on. That's insane. Increase web bomb specialization, rev retraction attack. So that's that's the pull in. Stuck to you by four. Pff, okay. Yo, these numbers are out of fucking control. Let's see. Damage done. By Wrecking Ball, along with Valor, now scales with Might instead of Precision. Increase Wrecking Ball attack damage by 100. Increase Wrecking Ball nest damage by 150. Eh, okay. I mean, 100 is fine. And also scales with, uh, oh, now scales with Might. That's good, so you can build them with Might. Yeah, I mean, that's fine. The Web Bomb is fucking huge. I mean, that's a ton of damage, so it'll be nice. And you can spam those pretty well uh, on Spider-Man, so I'm excited for that. All right, sweet. So that's that's it for the heroes. Um, I'll just scan through the rest of these. Uh, most of this looks like a bunch of nothing. UI, bunch of nothing. Combat, okay. Uh, no longer multiplies lasting damage, okay. Range, nah, it's all nothing. Uh, all right, so pretty much that's it. So all right, these are the so these are the skills. So. Overall, my thoughts, I mean, these numbers are absolutely out of control. Um, let me go back up to it. Some of these numbers are absolutely out of control. My one thing that I will say is I don't think the right characters got the proper buffs. I mean, so there's no, and this is, this is very, guys, by the way, this is very, like, initial knee-jerk reaction. So I'll reflect on it a little more. Um, I think in some cases they did good. I think, you know, just huge buffs like if i look at like captain america right kate bishop with the quantum overdrive just like enormous amounts of damage buff 
that'll definitely shake up the meta like 400 and now scaling with with might for to and increase stun on brooklyn bro like that's huge right that's gonna blow things away uh same thing with like with black panther i don't think some of these characters it's kind of weird hawkeye got nothing but thor and iron man still got something so that's kind of interesting i would have liked to see which i guess knowing coming into it now knowing that it was only focused on their heroics is fine i would have still i would still like to see buffs to maybe like some of the the less loved parts of people's kit so even even strong characters like iron man i would like to see a buff to maybe repulsors right um or if you look at like a kate bishop some reason to use something other than scattershot right we don't really have that right now um so those are the buffs i'd still like to see but overall i mean i'm pretty happy with these i like you know i like the power surge damage i like the the captain america brooklyn brawler damage i like the kate bishop quantum overdrive damage uh thor is going to absolutely maul people hulk is going to absolutely maul people now um yeah what more can i say huge huge buffs we'll have to see i'm going to reserve most judgment for uh you know when we actually get it in game because i don't know how the how the game is going to scale to this i'll be perfectly honest with you guys like people can already destroy you know let's let's use captain america as an example people it's possible to already destroy super adaptoid or claw with brooklyn brawler it's not perfect but it's possible and now they're going to just add they're essentially going to 5x that damage now th the people who could already do it are going to do it in one fucking hit you know so i don't know i do not know we'll have to see uh but so, i mean some of these numbers are just absolutely crazy absolutely positively crazy all right let me know what you guys think